Hey, um, so I'm Falco from Bitwig and we have just uh, released our latest update, uh, Bitwig Studio 2.4. has many larger or smaller improvements. One of the uh, uh, most um, striking new features is an uh, overhauled uh, sampler, uh, which you can now only uh, also use in more of a sound design context uh, with some new play modes that we added. Maybe I can show you real quick. So this is the sampler device as you know it, but now additionally to the, uh, I can actually take that, additionally to the regular repitch mode that we hear in action now, we can also switch the play mode to two other modes. We have a cycles play mode that I select now, which uh, actually turns it into a wavetable synthesizer. So you can throw any sampled material at it and um, as you can see, it's split into individual cycles uh, that is scanned as a wavetable. I can now just change the scanning speed of that and already get some synthetic sound out of the material I, I, I have here. There's an additional formant control that I can just with one knob get more control over the sound or use the other features uh, uh, known from the sample such as the multi-mode filter. Um, the trick here is again like you know it from Bitwig maybe that in each device you have modulator slots that you can use to for example modulate something like the play start time or uh, the loop time, looping times, so it gives you more, even more uh, possibilities on influencing the sound. You can add some um, envelope on the formant control here, and maybe also use this LFO to change the scanning speed of the wavetables to get some really interesting results. So it's a with this really basic feature set, you get a pretty powerful wavetable synthesizer that you can throw any audio material at. So let's look at the other play mode, which is a granular play mode, uh, which is called textures. I've already selected it here. And um, as you hear, the, the material is scanned connection with the parameters you have here I can change the grain size and most uh, significant with uh, granular uh, synthesis is to change the speed again to be really slow and so to pick uh, like more directly stuff uh, from this um, uh, audio material um, Again, with these, uh, with the set of modulators I have here, I can again modulate some of the speed or grain size and the parameter set I have here. Oops, sorry. So it's now connected to this step sequencer over here that I can. Oh, it picks another slice uh, for each step. Uh, yes, or oh, it it moves across across the sample. You can freely assign here, it here. Yes. And one very interesting uh, fe feature in that context is to even disable the, the playhead to, to advance with, with each played note. I can hit the snowflake icon. To snowflake? Snowflake icon. Oh, yeah. So the, the, the playhead is frozen unless it's the movement is modulated um, uh, with these tools over here. So you can get a real freedom of moving through the sample material.
a very nice uh, extra feature with this um, play mode is something that we have in every instrument in um, in Bitwig. You can do voice. Uh, you can stack the voices up to five voices per note, and uh, use use this as a modulator to uh, change for each voice any parameter in the instrument. So if I modulate now the, uh, the, the scanning position, as you see now, I get five individual play hats. I can additionally uh, modulate the panning maybe for each of these play hats. And then through that, I have pretty intuitive and playful ways of experimenting with that. It's getting a bit, bit loud now. And once I have something like that going, I had maybe some delay, some reverb, just drag in any other audio material and have a really nice, nice and easy way of experimenting with that stuff uh, in our sampler. So yeah, that's the that's the new sampler in Bitwig Studio 2.4, uh, and I hope I, uh, you you'll enjoy it.